I told you in the reaction video that I would do a deep dive into next semester, and so here it is. I saw a lot of people saying that the lyrics weren't too deep and they couldn't pick up any lore in the music video. I was honestly shocked by that because I picked up so much within both the lyrics and the music video. So I think I obviously have to kind of put my thoughts out there. Just before we get into it, I will say I'm going to put out a slight content warning. I would not be very specific with it, but this song is about an attempt to unalive yourself. So if that's not something you want to hear, I will catch you in the next one. For those of you who stay around, let's get into it. For the people who said the lyrics are different, I will say that they are different, but I would not say that different is worse. Oftentimes, 21 Pilots are very poetic with their words. Of course, they have this whole narrative in a very poetic way of putting these feelings into words. You don't really see that with next semester. In fact, I think Tyler is letting you into his mind. He's not trying to hide it. He's not trying to make it artsy. He's like, this is what I think. This is my thought process. And it's very blunt and to the point, which I think packs a very intense punch because it makes the whole concept seem real. I think that was absolutely a great choice to make when writing a song like this. The song itself seems to be Tyler sharing an experience with us in the form of flashbacks. You can see this in the music video by the way that it is separated in two halves. You have one side of the music video that is very orangey and red. Tyler is on stage doing what he loves the most, and he's also surrounded by people. On the other side, we have this very cold looking blue color scene. This is where Tyler is alone. The red orangey scene depicts Tyler at his best. He's doing what he loves the most. He is surrounded by support and is playing music. On the other side of this, we have Tyler at his lowest. This is the part where he attempted. But the way that this music video switches back and forth in between those two scenes is very interesting. They set it up almost in a way that Tyler is experiencing some sort of traumatic flashback. I'm not gonna get on here and diagnose Tyler with PTSD. I am a psychology student, but I'm not that good. And I don't like diagnosing people because I'm just not a professional. But that is kind of the best way I can describe it. It's kind of reliving that traumatic experience. Because as you can see in the music video, the lights on the stage are reminding Tyler of the headlights of the car, sending him back to that memory. Which I should point out is a very realistic experience. PTSD flashbacks are no joke. They're very intense feels like the person is actually there again, as we see in the music video. But this isn't the only example of very realistic experiences that I could pick up in the song. Also quite a few within the actual lyrics. Let's take the first verse. Stand up straight now, can't break down, graduate now. I don't want to be here, I don't want to be here. It's a taste test of what I hate less. Can you die of anxiousness? I don't want to be here, I don't want to be here. What's about to happen, what's about to happen? Now, the repeated phrases within this remind me of the racing thoughts one has when experiencing a panic attack. More specifically, it reminds me of having a panic attack in front of people. This is like, I can't do this now, I have to stay calm, I have to like stand here, I don't want to be here, I have to get out of this situation. But also with the what's about to happen, it very much reflects that feeling of impending doom when you're having a panic attack where it's like you feel something is about to happen, you just don't know what it is, and your mind is, is racing. And also the can you die of anxiousness. A lot of people who experience panic attacks genuinely feel like they are dying. And then you have verse two. Can't feel my legs, I might suffocate. There's a pressure in my chest. I don't wanna be here, I don't wanna be here. What's about to happen, what's about to happen? Again, you have the repeating racing thoughts, that feeling of impending doom, but he's also depicting the actual physical symptoms someone has when experiencing panic. The numbness in the limbs, the feeling of suffocation, the pressure in your chest. This is one of the most realistic depictions of a panic attack that I have seen in any song. And it is very realistic for a 21 Pilot song. So yes, the lyrics are different from normal 21 Pilot songs, but the whole realism of it all, the fact that it is so realistic, I think does not make it worse. If anything, it's it's even more intimate because Tyler is literally showing you his thought process. He's like, I'm not covering it. I'm not trying to disguise it as anything else. Here's my thoughts. This is how scary it is, which I think is very intense. Going back to the actual flashback itself, we have the chorus. And of course, in the chorus and the music video, this is where Tyler sees the lights and goes back into that memory. I remember, I remember certain things, what I was wearing, the yellow dashes in the street, I prayed those lights would take me home, and then I heard, hey kid, get out of the road. The chorus is depicting the attempt, and we can assume that Tyler in the music video is having some sort of traumatic flashback, but this in itself is also very realistic to me. 
especially in the way that his memory is so vivid. As I mentioned before, PTSD flashbacks are very intense. The person actually feels like they are reliving the event. So the fact that Tyler is able to pick up on these very specific minor details really shows just how real this song is. Because every memory that you have that is attached to an intense emotion, whether that be positive or negative, is very, very vivid. So much so that you probably could remember what you're wearing. In fact, that is a thing. My mom always says that every sort of intense memory that she has, she associates it with the clothing that she's wearing. So sometimes that is a thing, and it was very interesting to see that in a song. But I also want to point out the fact that he mentioned the color yellow. As we know, 21 Pilots loves their colors. Again, as I mentioned, we can see that through the contrast of the two scenes, the warm colors versus the very cold colors. But yellow in itself is very specific and very important to 21 Pilots lore. The color yellow represents Trench, the banditos, the good side. I absolutely believe that the mention of the color yellow was intentional. Tyler is showing us that even in your lowest moment, there is still a dash of hope. Which reminds me of a similar scene that we saw in the jumpsuit music video. As Nico is taking Clancy back to Dima, you can see him look down and see yellow flowers. Much like how this Tyler looked down and saw the yellow dashes on the road. Again, I think that these two scenes parallel each other because they're pushing the same message. That even at your lowest, even when you feel like things can't get better, there's always just a little tiny bit of hope. And this song also pushes the idea that that hope can be subtle. It can be a tiny dash of yellow on the side of the road. It can be an absolute stranger saying, hey kid, get out of the road. That is a big theme that I picked up on in this song. Tyler's trying to say that there doesn't have to be this big monumental moment that changes your life forever. It can be small. It can be an absolute stranger saving your life. It can be discovering music. It can be connecting with a band. Very small things have a very big impact. And I think Tyler is trying to let us know, you have to remember that. Can't just sit and wait for this big light bulb moment. It can be tiny, so little that you overlook it. But the parallel to Jumpsuit was not the only thing that I picked up on. I also noticed a bunch of references to Heavy Dirty Soul, especially the road shots with Josh. And I also picked up on a parallel of car radio, the way he gets into the crowd with the ukulele. But I also want to talk about the repeating scenes that we see. As Tyler is reliving this moment, we see it a bunch of different times. Again, this is very similar to someone experiencing a traumatic event over and over again through flashbacks. But it also kind of parallels to the cycle Clancy finds himself in. In the Iron Clancy video, Clancy does say that he's stuck in a cycle, but he's getting better with each attempt. We can see that in this music video. When the flashback starts, Tyler is very scared. You can see him literally moving out of the way, he's caught off guard, he's, he's flinching. As this progresses, you can see him get a little stronger. By the end of it, he has his Clancy mask on and he's just like casually stepping out of the way. The fear that he showed at the beginning isn't there anymore. There's a couple of fans saying that this scene may represent the albums and how Tyler with each album is becoming stronger and more willing to fight the system. But I think through this sequence, Tyler is trying to say, I'm getting stronger. I can't break the cycle, but I'm learning to adapt to it. But I also want to talk about Tyler's clothes in this scene. When he's on the road, he's wearing the sweater sort of thing, which reminded me very much of the clothes that we see in the Skeleton Icy livestream. Kind of like 60s, 70s look. Someone also pointed out that this looks a lot like Arthur Miller. Arthur Miller, of course, wrote All My Sons which is the story that inspired the name 21 Pilots. If you didn't know, All My Sons is about a guy who knowingly sold faulty airplane parts, which killed 21 Pilots. So the whole story is him dealing with that guilt. Now, of course, this may be a stretch, but if this is a reference to Arthur Miller, first of all, it's very cool to kind of see them finally play with that since that's where they got their name. But I think in this scenario, it's showing guilt. Just like the person in All My Sons, Tyler is dealing with guilt which an experience like that, it, it can make the person feel guilty because it's like, I could have hurt a lot of people. I could have hurt a lot of people that I love. Of course, there's this very intense feeling of guilt, but the whole point of this song and the whole point that Tyler is trying to make is like, you may feel this way and you may feel guilty, but no matter what you do, you can't go back and change it. You have to deal with what you are dealt. Which leads me into, I don't think that this song is about school. <laughs> of course, people are free to interpret art however they want to. Me, personally, I don't 
think it's about school, especially since what Overcompensate gave us. Clancy is holding these little classes to teach the citizens of Dima, so it kind of makes sense that Tyler would have another reference to school. I think in a more realistic sort of way, Tyler is looking at life as like chapters, as semesters. And there's a semester in life where things aren't great, but the only thing you can do is start fresh next semester. Much like the Dima citizens, who just have to keep taking these classes until they're free. I think next semester is a very impactful, very real song that has some very realistic situations. But of course, in 21 Pilots fashion, there is that sense of hope. It's that feeling of, well, you just have to keep trying. But things will get better. It was a very intense one. Oh, goodness. And now I have to go to my English class and analyze even more things. If you like the video, please hit like and subscribe. And as always, I will see you in the next one.